Hello everybody and welcome to the next episode of my Harry Potter Let's Play. Uh, this is episode 3 and in the last episode we have learned a new spell which is Rit the Sempra, which is the spell that we are using for enemies and we have also this visited the Bean bonus room and where we left off is uh, right before the potions lesson, so now we are going, actually we are already in the dungeon and we are going for the first potion class with Professor Snape. So let's see, hopefully we can now learn some attention. useful potions. Today you will attempt to learn the art of mixing one of the most useful potions ever concocted, the Wigan Weld Potion. Potter, you have just volunteered to show the rest of the class how this is done. Get up here immediately. A Wigan Weld potion will restore some of your lost stamina. Even a single bottle is capable of healing the most grievous wounds. In this chest are the two ingredients of Wigan Weld potion. Flubberworm mucus and Wigan tree bark. Take them out. Okay, so Harry eagerly volunteered for a presentation of how to do now, the potion. Up to the cauldron. Try observe Mr. Potter. As we all know, Harry is very good and at it. making potion, but Careful, he actually did Potter. it now. You don't want to lose house points. Mr. Potter now has a Wiganweld potion. To drink the potion, press space bar. Back to your seat, Potter. Those of you who are adventurous, or more probably clumsy, will no doubt want to make Wigan World potions on your own. Therefore, there are cauldrons like this one throughout Hogwarts. They are the only cauldrons in which Wigan World potions can be made, and the ingredients, flubberworm mucus and Wigan tree bark, can also be found throughout Hogwarts. Now for today's lecture. The history of flubberworm mucus extraction. Before that lecture, I thought I knew everything I wanted to about flubberworm mucus, and I was right. Well, I thought he touched on some interesting aspects. Let's get going before Snake comes out. It was coming from over there. Come on! Shame I actually wanted to check out the classroom again for secrets. But never mind, we'll get back there some other time. Now we of course have to follow the voice that Harry is hearing. What's going on? <sighs> Enemies of the air, beware! You'll be next, mudbloods. She's been petrified, but how? I cannot say. And now, I would like everybody to please return to their dormitories. There's nothing else to see here. Come on, Harry. Professor Dumbledore's right. There's nothing more to see here. Everyone at Hogwarts was disturbed by the attack on Mrs. Norris and the mysterious words scrawled on the wall. Rumors and speculations spread. Hermione in particular was especially affected. Ron and Harry became sure that she was up to something, but whatever it was, she remained tight-lipped. We have to get to Charms class, Harry, and I have an idea. An idea about what? We should ask Professor Flitwick about the Chamber of Secrets. He's bound to know something. Let's go. 
So as we have seen, the Chamber of Secrets is now open. And Basilisk made its first attack. Oh, we don't have more ingredients. Uh, so now this is where the real fun begins, let's say. <laughs> but now we have to go for our first charms lesson. And Hurry up, Harry! We don't want to be late for charms. Coming, Hermione! As I was saying, Hermione wanted to ask Professor Flitwick about the Chamber of Secrets. Uh, but actually in the movie she asked Professor McGonagall and also in the book he asked, she asked uh, Professor Bins. So actually in, in each of these versions it is uh, completely different of who Hermione asked about the cha Chamber of Secrets. Welcome to Charms class. Today we shall be learning the Scourge Charm. Yes, Miss Granger? I was just wondering if you could, uh, tell us something about the Chamber of Secrets. I deal with charms, Miss Granger, not myths and legends. Please, Professor, we all want to hear. Oh, very well. There were four founders of Hogwarts, Godric Gryffindor, Salazar Slytherin, Helga Hufflepuff, and Rowena Ravenclaw. Slytherin wanted to admit only the wizard-born students to Hogwarts. The other founders refused, and as a result, Slytherin left the school. Yes, Miss Granger? He built a secret chamber in the castle of which the other founders knew nothing. With a great monster to guard the chamber from within. The legend states that one day Slytherin's true heir will return to open the chamber and control the horror within. And then all who are not wizard born will be purged from Hogwarts. All nonsense, of course. Now, back to magic reality. Mr. Potter, perhaps you'd like to step forward and demonstrate Scourge for the class. Glad to, Professor. Try not to focus on all this Chamber of Secrets balderdash. Concentrate on the symbol in front of you. The wand is about to move its way around the symbol. At the exact point when the wand passes over the arrows, you'll need to hit the corresponding arrow key. This exercise has three levels. In each level, you must successfully hit all of the arrows in sequence. Ready to try? Round one, go. Okay, so let's not concentrate on the Chamber of Secrets and we will concentrate instead on the Scourge spell symbol. So we can learn the, the spell and use it in the upcoming challenge. Well done, Harry. You've advanced to the next level of the lesson. Five points to Gryffindor. Round two. Go. I would say Harry has a big luck for these challenges as he is always totally randomly chosen to attend the, the challenge and I guess the other students are just out of luck and we'll have to do well without done, learning the spells. We've advanced to the next level of the lesson. Ten points to Gryffindor. Round three, go! Okay, and I think this should be the last attempt. And hopefully we'll earn all the points so we can visit the beam bonus room again. And since this is very easy, I think it should be no problem. Well done! You've completed all of the necessary exercises. Fifteen points to Gryffindor. Well done, Mr. Potter! You've successfully learned Scourge! Now it's time for you to test your newly learned knowledge in the Scourge Spell Challenge. Welcome, Harry Potter, to my Scourge Challenge. To complete the challenge, you must find the Completion Star, which can be found several floors below us. Try to get to it as quickly as you can. If the challenge timer reaches zero before you have the Completion Star, you lose the challenge. Along the way, you'll find Challenge Stars. Collecting Challenge Stars will boost your timer and score. I highly recommend you try to find all of them. Try to get the completion star with as many seconds remaining as possible. The higher your score is when you complete the challenge, the more house points I will award you. Okay, so we are in the challenge and I will try to again do it 
as fast as possible so I think is an I won't bother with the substance left armor by again. Certain ghostly beings. In some places it will block doorways and openings. You can cast Scourge to get rid of it. On one hand it's nice to explore the challenge and find all its secrets but then on the, on the other hand I want to do it as fast as possible so we can get as much as much points as we can get because of course the the challenge the challenge points are good to earn the house points which we need to get into the beam bonus room let's destroy this And I think I have seen a secret there. Yes, I will go have a look in here. And it's a bronze with a green card. And I have decided uh, we will check the names of the wizard after each 10 collected from each of the. Uh, each of the colors, so the bronze and the ectoplasm silver. Takes away some of your stamina. The longer you're in contact with ectoplasm, the more stamina you lose. Uh, so he was saying something about stamina. Uh, yeah, of course he meant our health. Uh, so each time we step on the ectoplasm, or as he said it, we it will damage us. This looks like it should be secret behind it, but no secret there. Oh no, it's Peeves! Well, if it isn't spotty, grotty, stotty, potty, water, I like your name. It rhymes with so many insulting things. Aha! And this is the first time we encounter Peeves in the Chamber of Secrets. Uh, but we have already met him in the previous playthrough of. Uh, Philosopher's Stone, where we met him actually several times. Okay, so I will go over here to collect the visiting car, or I mean the challenge star. So the, there was actually a secret, you just have to uh, go there from the other side. Yeah, I thought these doors looked suspicious. Okay, first checkpoint. And it looks like we opened our way forward, but at the same time closed it on the other side. Let's see where will the Lumo spell lead us. Let's collect some more beans and we have found some more potion ingredients. Okay, now we have the way open, we just need to get up there. So I guess we have to go over here. And maybe we can find also the other ingredient for the healing potion. Oh, but we have found another visiting card and now we have 10 of them, so I will check it right now. And let's have a look. Well, last time we have already collected these and uh, today we have collected only these two, which are new one. So it's Bridget Venlock and Greta Ketchlow. I suppose that's how you spell it or read it. And as you can see now we have two health bars in instead of one so we will now last much longer with health. Not that we, not that we actually need it at the moment but it will definitely become useful in the future. 
and another bronze wizarding card so this level is very generous with the cards that's great yeah this this painting also looks quite suspicious I will try to get this snail onto that platform let's see if it will get us something maybe it could open the painting yes so I was right and there could be a silver wizard card hopefully yes so now we have another wizarding card this time silver and here I remember we don't actually have to throw these snails in there I think we can or I know we can just manually press it ourselves continue okay so what's over here there are some beans and another potion ingredient great for us now we can make another healing potion once we see a cauldron but now let's collect the I think fifth wizarding card oh, I keep saying wizarding cards but I mean challenge stars let's use rumors here and put them over here okay now, that is a Cornish pixie troublesome and annoying creatures they are if they touch you they will bite so try to avoid them Richter Sempero will stun them Okay, and then again we encounter Pixie for the first time, but this is also an enemy we have already seen in the in the previous game in the Philosopher's Stone. Which I believe we encounter them for the first time in the Herbology Greenhouse challenge. So now it's charms. I think in this game we will also have a uh, Herbology class too. Just not now. And this also looks quite suspicious. Okay. So it opened away over here. And we have another silver visiting card, so as I said, this this charms challenge is very good for it. As we have encountered already many cars cards. But then again there are much more visiting cards in this game than in the first one. Okay, now we have on the beans. I think here we have to <clears throat> throw something on this so we can get up to that challenge star. Let's collect more beans. I always check these doors because they look like they hide something. Oh, but they are just 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 a uh, empty wall. Well, that was close. So another visiting card and another challenge star. Uh, we will grab another challenge star and we will need to find only one. As we have already nine so we could be also near the end of the challenge. more beans and I think here below us should be the yes the final challenge star I mean the end challenge star and what is over here so here is the final challenge star and this got us to the end 
But I saw another chest over here. Which is what? Okay. So this was a sort of prank chest with just beefs. So now we have everything and it's complete. Ceremony starting soon. Okay, so now we will again end the episode with the with the house point ceremony. I'm just looking at this fire, how it is not actually burning and it is very static. I guess that's just magic. But let's not distract ourselves and get to the in bonus room but I got again distracted by the fires because I see none of the fires are actually moving hello everyone and Looks we have like again time for one the house point, house point ceremony let's see which house is ahead this week oh, it appears that Gryffindor is in the lead Harry it looks like you get to visit the bonus beam room. So thankfully, Harry again got chosen absolutely randomly for the beam bonus room and for the visiting challenge. So I guess Harry just uh, selected 10 on his trait three and got the highest amount of luck but then again i'm not complaining because i got to collect the beans which is great for me okay i think i will go over here i of course want to collect as many beans as possible let's collect these ones and go Go below. Half of the timer is already gone, but we have almost 700 beans. Hopefully, we can make it to the 700. Only 40 beans to collect, and yes, we will have 700. Mm, but it's empty right here. I'm not sure where should I go. So maybe we actually won't manage to collect. Or, or we will. Yes, we definitely will. And we collected 700 beans just in time to end the timer. Harry, I want to investigate the scene of the crime. Filch usually guards the hallway where his cat was petrified, but he's away, so now is our chance. Do you really think there's a Chamber of Secrets? I believe Flitwick's story, even if he doesn't. And Dumbledore himself couldn't cure Mrs. Norris. I think that whatever attacked her might not be human. Here we are, at the scene of the crime. It can't hurt to look around, since we're already here, and Filch isn't. Remember all the water that was on the floor? Where had it come from? I see that every fire is very Let's static. I can't go in there. That's a girl's bathroom. Oh, Ron, there won't be anyone in here. This is Moaning Myrtle's place. She haunts one of the toilets. It's been out of order all year because she keeps having tantrums and flooding the place. I wish people would stop talking about me behind my back. Who can the heir of Slytherin be, though? Who'd want to frighten all the non-magical folk out of Hogwarts? Draco Malfoy. You heard him call Hermione a mudblood. But how do we prove it's him? We'd need to sneak into the Slytherin common room and ask Malfoy a few questions without him realising it's us. <laughs> but that's impossible! All we need would be some Polyjuice potion. It transforms you into somebody else. We could change Harry into a Slytherin. 
No one would realize it was really Harry. Two of the potion ingredients are a bit tricky, I'm afraid. Powdered by cornhorn and shredded boomslang skin. Harry, I'll need you to get me some. Any idea where I can find some? There's some bicorn horn in Snape's storage room. I'm not sure about the shredded boomslang skin. I'll need to check at the library. Lovely. Molting boomslangs are corridors full of goo. This should be enjoyable. Okay, so Hermione sent us on a task to collect ingredients for the Lich's potion so we can sneak to the Slytherin common room and find out if Draco is the heir of Slytherin. But I think I will leave that for the next episode as this should be everything for this one. I thank you very much for watching and if you enjoyed the video leave a like or dislike if you disliked it and if you have any suggestion or criticism I would also highly appreciate if you could leave a comment. So thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.